Today I'm going to show you the future of browsing on the internet and it's the Brave browser. You may have heard of it. If not, it's catching on very quickly and I have it up on the screen now and you're going to say, Kevin, that's not Brave, that's Chrome. No, it's not. It's actually very similar. They use the same bare base architecture of Chromium which they then developed on top of it. So there was Chromium and then Google took that free code, made theirs and Brave took the Chromium and made theirs. So that's kind of why it looks so similar. So with this browser, there's a few things that it can do that Google can't. First of all, it's got Shields. Shields allows you to go ahead and block websites if you feel that there is, uh, say a shady website you go to. Shields will go ahead and turn on automatically. So with that, say we just go to, we'll go to Google because I know that's automatic. So Shields is right up here and you can see Have Shields has access to the site. If you click on it, it'll show you what's going on right now. You blocked three things from Google alone. So ads and tracer blocked were three. So that's what it blocked when you went to Google. So your ad there, Blot, they're tracing you to find out what ads to show you basically and to know what you're into for the tracker. So they can go ahead and customize the Google search more towards you. So this is awesome. This, this browser is great and this isn't even the best thing. So Shields Up is awesome. You can also turn the Shields off just by sliding this over to the left and then Shields are off. So if you're having problems with a site, it might be because it's blocking something. So all you do is turn your shields off and you're good. So we can go ahead and turn it back on though and leave that uh, turned on so it continues to block the Google information. That way it won't give me search information bias to what's on my computer. So that is the Brave browser that a lot of people love, but that's not where it stops. With Brave, you have Brave Rewards. So you can click on here and it'll show you your current amount of BAT, which is basic access token. It's cryptocurrency and it does have a value. So as you're browsing the internet with this browser, you will go ahead and get BAT token. So if I wanna see how much I've earned so far, I just click on reward settings and it'll bring me to this screen here. So far I've currently generated 0.65 BAT, which is 22 cents. Now this is my streaming computer, so I'm not really using the web browser on this that much. I do a lot of my research on my laptop so coming here, it's more of just I'm watching myself on Twitch as I stream to make sure it's working. So that's why I don't have a whole lot of basic access to tokens on this browser. But on the one that I use on my laptop, I have about two bat now. And I've only been using it maybe about two weeks. I use it about 90% of the time over Chrome. There's only a few times I use Chrome and that's like if I need to get to Google Drive. And I think that's about it just because it's simple and I know what a shortcut is. I know I can make a shortcut here. I just haven't got to it yet. So these are paid out monthly to your wallet. Um, so on the 5th, which should be very shortly, this will go ahead and get deposited into my account. And it shows how many ads that it sent me, which is 13. So what an ad will be is in the bottom right hand corner, a little pop up will come up and have a few words and you can just click the X on it and then your ad counts. Or you could just leave it up and it should disappear over time. So when you start using the browser, they give you 20 bat to give to other people. So with that, you have it here. And if you scroll down, it auto contributes. So it's gonna go check out the websites that you've seen and it's gonna give a portion of that 20 bat a month to those people. Of course, like I said, I'm always on Twitch and YouTube here, so this is why this is the majority. Uh, Justin Odisho, I watch his tutorials all the time on Adobe Premiere and Adobe Photoshop, so that's why he's in there and After Effects. But I don't really watch him a lot here, like I said, on my laptops where I do a lot of this stuff. Basically, if I just need a quick how to do this, I check his stuff out. He's great. Make sure you subscribe to him. And down here, you can get tips. So no tips for me this period. Um, how tips work is you can get your websites verified. So if I go over to become a Brave Reward, here you can become a creator. You can click on here and sign up 
And I already have it open, so we're just gonna go ahead and go right over to that. That way I don't have to show you the login and everything. Uh, so here I have a pending payout. This is 0.78 bat that somebody that watches my YouTube videos sent me. So that's pretty awesome. How they can do it is they can just go up to here and click on send a tip. You click send a tip, it'll tell you if it is a verified and then you can do it monthly or you could just do it one time. So my, if you scroll down here, you'll see that my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel are both verified. So if someone's watching a YouTube video and they like it, they go ahead and hit send a tip and send a bat basically. And so, you know, that helped out. Here's a bat on me. And you're earning those bats just by browsing the internet. You don't have to do that. You can always go ahead and take that bat and turn it into money for yourself or other cryptocurrency and keep it that way as well. So there's also a referral program. I will put my link down below. This is not a sponsored video, but I believe in this. I've been using it. I've been testing. I've been reading about it, doing a lot of research because a lot of you know that uh, cryptocurrency is something I'm really into on the side. So I've been really paying attention to this and I enjoy it. So it's a lot faster. <laughs> Did I mention that? Blazing faster than Chrome. Never thought I'd see it. Some sites are saying up to eight times faster. It's just, it's just insane. That, that's pretty fast. On the main screen here, you'll see how many things were blocked, how many ads were blocked, um, how many times it upgraded to HTTPS when it should have been, and it saved me about nine minutes. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. If I go to my Twitch channel, you can see here, if I click on here, it will show Brave Verified Publisher. So that's awesome. If you're coming to my site and you have contribute on, that will help me out. You don't have to leave it at 20. You can lower it to, I don't know, whatever you feel is what you want to give out per month. And then it'll split it up through there. When looking at those Brave Rewards and down here, you can hit the trash can if you want to exclude a website as well. Again, the browser works really well. You can have your a uh, shortcut bar like that. I just have it turned off right now. You can go ahead and click on other websites. Like say we go over to YouTube. It does show analytics. No problem here. Showing my views per hour last 48 hours. You know, everything seems to be working pretty well there. So that gives you an idea of the browser and how everything works. Like I said, I'll have my link down below. I suggest you give it a shot because it's going to be the future because you get rewards as you browse it's faster and it's secure. The security is huge alone. Use it for a little bit. Like I said, test it out. You'll see that it's faster than Chrome. And you can also import your bookmarks from Chrome. That way they're just over here. Because I'm sure a lot of people are wondering that. You would just go over here, choose bookmarks, and then go ahead and to import. And you'll be able to get all your bookmarks over here. So I hope this helped you and I'll be seeing you on the browser. Thanks so much. I'll see you later.